It's an unexpected sight, algae in a brewery, but this green glowing liquid is helping the planet. You think of algae as that annoying green stuff in the pool, but 50% of the world's oxygen comes from algae. When beer ferments, it releases carbon dioxide, contributing to global warming. Algae, on the other hand, consumes carbon and releases oxygen, which is why this Sydney brewery installed two 400-litre bags. Brewing is a very energy-intensive business, and we wanted to look at reducing our carbon footprint. Almost 15% of Australia's emissions are from agriculture, including methane spewing cows. Some farms already rely on leftover brewery grain as feed, but a new collaboration is going one step further. In this lab, algae is added to gastric juices from a cow, then fermented in synthetic stomachs before its methane output is measured. Research has already established that seaweed can almost eliminate a cow's ability to produce methane. Now, scientists are hoping that microalgae grown in breweries will do the same. If successful, the algae would be mixed in with grain feed. The cattle industry is a massive methane emitter and by contributing to reducing that is going to be really important for, for COP26 and going forward. The red meat industry says it could help it achieve carbon neutrality by 2030. If we can grow enough algae to feed significant numbers of animals uh, in Australia, we are going to make a significant impact on um, emissions from the livestock sector. The aim though is to really prove this as a system and then roll this out to other breweries across the world. Reducing methane emissions and brewing greener beer. Harriet Tatum, ABC News, Sydney.